Praise the Lord, praise the Lord. This is the Friday Night Lights edition of God in the Midst Radio, Get em Radio. Welcome, 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 everyone. I am Pastor Mark McCoy of the Point Christian Fellowship International. And I am just so happy to join you tonight on Facebook, on the conference call. Oh, we're getting ready to have a good time in the Lord tonight. Pastor Elder uh, Paul McCoy uh, of New Harvest E Church is resting tonight. Um, his father, uh, Bishop, Nathaniel McCoy passed on this week, and um, Paul has been under a whole lot of pressure uh, to get everything in order and get it set, and uh, then get himself ready to come down to Huntsville, Alabama, for the salt opening of the point on October 7th. Oh, yeah, October 7th, we're, we're going to have our south uh, salt opening meaning that we are beginning to organize and plant this new adventure with God. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. You're doing marvelous and wonderful things. So tonight, tonight, uh, it is my uh, 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 privilege. It is my honor. It is, it is just absolutely wonderful that I get a chance to come back on Get Em. Radio, glory, hallelujah, boy, I tell you, I miss me some get a radio. I love me some get a radio, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, glory to your name. I'm just so excited about being on the conference call and live on Facebook tonight. Let us go now to the Lord in prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you and we praise you for all of your blessings. We love you, Lord. We adore you, Lord. We just worship you and magnify your holy name. You're so worthy, God, to be praised. We lift you up this day and, and we just say thank you, Lord. Hallelujah, because hallelujah is the highest praise. If we had the tongues of angels, we would be singing Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty. He that he is, was, and is to come. Yes, Lord, we thank you this day that you're Alpha and Omega. We thank you that you are both the beginning and the end. Our hope is built on you. Our hope is in you. On Christ, the solid rock we stand. All of the ground is like sinking sand. Oh, hallelujah. Now, Lord, we get ready to go into your word on this Friday Night Lights edition of Get Em Radio. Bless this ministry. Bless all the ministries connected and partnering with this ministry. And Lord, we just ask you now, let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, O oh Lord, my rock, my redeemer, who lives. In Jesus' name, heal as only you can. In Jesus' name, Jesus' name, heal hearts, minds, finances, spirits, and souls. Heal, Lord, bodies. Heal, because you are the great physician. We thank you now, Lord. Even as we speak this healing, across these airways, people are picking up your touch. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. We're going to go tonight to Philippians chapter 3. Philippians chapter 3. And we're going to kick off at the 12th verse of Philippians 
chapter three. Listen to it now from, from uh, I believe this is the New King James Version of the Bible, Philippians chapter three, starting at verse 12. Not that I have already attained or am already perfect, but I press on that I may lay hold of that which Christ Jesus has also laid hold of me. Brethren, do not count your, myself, I do not count myself to have, to have apprehended, but one thing I do, one thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind me and reaching forward to those things which are ahead, I press, oh, hallelujah, I press. Yes, hallelujah. I press towards the mark, towards the goal for the prize of the high calling, the upward calling of God in Christ Jesus. Therefore, let us, as many are as mature, have this mind if, if in anything you think otherwise. God will reveal even this to you. Nevertheless, to the degree that we have already attained, oh, hallelujah, <laughs> let us walk by the same rule. Let us be of the same mind. The tag I want to place on this text is I press. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I press. I, I, I press. That we, 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 we got to understand that our, our job is to press. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, Paul says, Paul says, I press towards the mark. I press. And so today, as we look at this lesson, we're going to talk about how we're going to press through the pain. How we're going to press through our problems. How we're going to press through the people. And how we're going to press through our pride. Oh, yeah, yeah. Let me run them down to you again. People, pain, uh, uh, problems, and pride. I, I don't know which way I'm going to go with it. It's just, just all of them peas because we're going to press tonight. We're going to press. We're going to press. Uh, um, the story goes like this, that the devil and, and all of his nymphs and little demons were having a meeting down in hell. And, and, and in their meeting down in hell, they came and gave their report to, to old Slewfoot, old Crooked Eye. They came to give him the report of what they had been doing on the earth, see, because they have been going to and fro seeking whom may, they may devour and, and who they may tear up and who they may mess up. And, and so one of the demons came to, to, to the devil and said, well, devil, uh, uh, I'm here to tell you that I've been out there and, and, and I had a church full of of." of good born again Christians and, and and they were at church and I sent somebody in there and he killed them all. Shot them up right there in Charlotte. I knew what I was doing. The devil says, oh, mm. you might think what you did was good, but it's of no use to me. Because you kill them Christians. But their soul is already saved. I, 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 I can't do nothing. I, 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 their soul is saved. I can't touch it. So the next thing that came up, well, 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 let me tell you, old Satan, with your old, old dead-eyed looking self. I went to Las Vegas. And I got this boy up on this 
big old hotel and he shot down. Oh, he killed so many folks. He killed them all. Then he killed himself. He said, well, I thank you for that one soul. But the rest of them, shoot. I looked at the Lamb Book of Life. All of them name was written on there. So I can't touch their soul. Get on out of here and leave me alone. Then this third demon came up. He was a little sneaky one. Little sneaky demon said, oh, look here, master. I, 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 I'm, I'm, I played the long game. I, 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 I took my time. And, and so for the last 10 years, I've been working on this one fellow. And, and, and I got this one fellow so jacked up that, 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 that he won't press through his pain. I, I got him so jacked up that he can't press through the people. I got him so jacked up that he can't press through his problems. I, I got him so jacked up that he can't press through his pride. <laughs> and so now that fire that is shut up in his bones, he can't even let it come out. He's supposed to be doing a whole lot of stuff for that, 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 that God he serves. But I got him now where he's silent, sitting in a corner, considering taking his own life. Devil said to that little demon, well done! Because that one was going to reach one that was going to reach one that was going to reach 10,000. And being that you got him shut up, <laughs> that one that he was going to reach, that 10,000, because that 10,000 was going to reach billions. We don't have to worry about them souls. They're mine now. Yeah. That's how it is. Many of us right now are, 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 are so engulfed in, in our trials and our tribulations. Many of us are so engulfed in, in, in the things that, that, that are bringing us down, and things that are keeping us down. We, we got doubts and we got fears, and, and the doubts and the fears are, are messing with our walk with God. We, 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 don't, we don't get up and go to church like we used to. We don't get down on our knees and pray like we used to. We don't get up at 3 or 4 o'clock in the morning and say, Lord, what you got me up for? And start naming all the people that he wants you to pray for. Oh, no. You are stressed out. Well, I'm here to tell you today, you're too blessed. You're too blessed to be stressed. You're too blessed to allow Satan himself to, to get you all caught up in yourself. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you heard me. It's not about you, boo. It's not about you, boo. You need to get up out of yourself. It's not about you, boo. Right now, you're stuck on stupid. S-O-S, -S. stuck on <laughs> stupid. <laughs> well, I got some principles tonight that's going to help you press. That's going to help you press through all of that mess so that your mess becomes a message. Yeah, I'm going to help you press tonight. Uh, that, that your test that, that you didn't fail is going to be now become your testimony. I'm going to help you press tonight. I know if you follow through and press, you will reach the prize. The prize of the high calling in Christ Jesus. So let's let's look at this text. Let's look at this text. This is this is what Paul says. He says, he says, now, 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 now I want y'all to hear me now. I want y'all to 
check this out. I, I want y'all to really understand this. Um, not that I have already attained or, or am already perfect, but I press on. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. See, see, that's your first problem. Your first problem is, is that you need to understand that you are not perfect. Well, well, let me say it a different way. Um, you're perfectly flawed. You're perfectly messed up. You're perfectly not right with God. See, because you need to understand that, that, that all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God and that, that we who, who sin in one thing is guilty of all of them. So you're not perfect. I'm not perfect. Now, I'm perfectly unique. I got my own brown and blue eyes. I got my own big old juicy lips. Yeah, I got my own teeth that I bought. I, I got my own ears. Yeah, 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 yeah. See, y'all missed that. Some of y'all got them good extensions. Yeah, they yours. So that makes you perfectly who you are uniquely, but you're not perfect. Uh-uh, you, you ain't walking like Jesus. You ain't talking like Jesus. You ain't living like Jesus. So you have to press on through this problem. What is the problem? Plain and simple, the problem is sin. There ain't no other way of putting it. I mean, I can make you feel better and say there is no sin problem, but I'm sorry. Um, I watch the news. Too many people are getting shot up and killed. I watch the news. Too many people are killing people in their own race. Hello, somebody. Too many people are, are putting things in place that people will go around killing themselves and killing others. Oh yeah, everybody is involved with this. And those of you who don't care and are not doing anything about it, oh yeah, you, you, you're just part of the problem also. Hmm, yeah. We all, we all, we all have problems. The, 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 the ongoing knowledge is either you're, you're, you're in a storm or, or you're headed for a storm or you're coming out of a storm. You're either in trouble or, or, or you're headed for trouble or you're just coming out of trouble. All of us, at any given moment, we're in that position where we're dealing with our problems. Paul says, yeah, I'm going to press on. I'm going to press on through my problems that, 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 that I may lay hold of that which Christ Jesus has also laid hold of me. I, I'm going to take my problems to the Lord. I'm going to take my burdens to the Lord. I'm going to take who I am and surrender myself to the Lord. I, I, I know I've got a problem, but Jesus uh, died on the cross for my problem. Jesus took my sin up on the cross. That was my problem. And he died. Because he has forgiven me through his precious blood. All oh, the blood. I can lay, now lay hold of his righteousness, his salvation, and his eternal life. Oh yes, my brothers and my sisters, you gotta press through your problem and get to Jesus. The next, next thing I wanna talk about is, is the pain, the pain. Yes, the pain, pain, pain. God knows all about our pain. I, I don't know what pain you're going through. Your, your pain may be physical. Your pain may be spiritual. Your pain may be, be, may be psychological. Your pain may be emotional. Your pain may be financial pain, marital pains, raising your children's pain. You name the pain, we got a cure for your pain. All of us have those pains. And, and what we forget is that pain, I don't care what kind of pain it is, 
is a signal to us that something is wrong. Yeah, 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 yeah. There it go, there it go. See, see, I don't know about you, but I, I heard somebody say uh, that my pain saved me. <laughs> ah, hallelujah! Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, see, I know what Frankie Beverly and May said about pain. They said pain, joy, and pain is like sunshine and rain. It's all the same. So whether I'm dealing with my joy or I'm dealing with my pain, it's all the same. See, see, how did my pain save me? My pain came and let me know my blood pressure is off. I got a little headache going on. Oh, yeah, if I ain't go to the doctor and get that blood pressure medicine and lose some of this weight, guess what that pain was trying to tell me? You're going to die, boy. You're going to die if you don't get healthy. Oh, my financial pain. Oh, Lord, 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 Lord. You know, Lord, oh, Jesus, the, the money's long and the ends are short. Oh, that's a financial pain. Yeah, it's a financial pain. But there's some emotional pain. Kids ain't acting right. Spouse ain't acting right. Coworkers ain't acting right. You ain't acting right. You don't even want to go into work. You don't want to go to school. You don't even want to come home, go in your own bedroom, because you got pain. But that's an indication that you need to press. You got to press through that pain. You got to reach out to those that, 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 that are causing those pains. You got to address those situations that are causing those pains, because it, it, if God reveals it, he's ready to heal it. That which is done in the dark will be brought to light. Sometimes our pain is, is the pain that the devil is inflicting on us because God can brag on us. Oh, I got a witness now. Come on up, oh, Brother Joe. Tell us about your pain. Yeah, Brother McCoy, it was that day. I, I, I didn't know all this was going on. I'm talking to you from 2020 hindsight. But, but the devil went up and up to heaven and visited God. And while he was up there talking with God, God said, well, have you considered my servant, Joe? And then that old devil said, well, well, well let me have him for a moment. Uh, yes, uh, uh, when I get through with him, he's going to curse you. Only reason, only reason he hadn't cursed you now is because you didn't put a hedge of protection around him and stopped all of that pain. But let me put some pain on him. So the first thing he did, he took his 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 livestock. He took all of his money. Oh boy, when the devil takes your money, that's some pain. Yes, and then then he came back and he touched Joe's family. Oh Lord, when when you lose your family members, that's some pain. He was hurting so bad. His wife, old sister Job, she said, boy, just, just go on. Go on. She couldn't handle her pain. It was hurting her. It was emotionally draining. Go on. Then all of a sudden, the devil touched Job's body. And them balls and suffering. She just said, I can't take this no more. I can't handle this hurt no more. I can't handle this pain no more. Go on. Go on and curse God and die. That's what old Miss Joe told Job in the midst of his pain. Oh, what people say to you when you're going through your pain. What, what folks talk about you when you're going through your pain. You're a child of God. You shouldn't be grieving for your loss like that. Get over your grief. And you, but you're going through pain. People tell them, well, 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 if you lose some weight, you wouldn't have blood pressure problems. Oh, you talking to me in my pain. But I got to tell you something. When you start talking to folks in pain, 
the pain talking even greater. But those of us who know the Lord, like Job did, don't say naked I came into this world and naked I shall return. The Lord giveth <laughs> and the Lord taketh away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. That's pressing. When you can press past the pain, when you can partner with the pain, and then give your praise in the middle of the pain. Then you can really sing. Oh, joy <laughs> and pain, yeah. Sunshine and rain, yes. Because you didn't press through that pain. When you get to praising God, They say we, when praise go up, <laughs> blessings come down. Yeah, weeping may endure for a moment, but joy does come in the moment. The pain may be excruciating, but I'm here to tell you. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Hold, hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. I got, excuse me a minute. For those of you who are good, Christians and you don't think Christians do these kind of things, uh, you need to put your finger in your ear right now because see, you don't, you may not want to hear this. See, because here's the thing, and and, and some of our pain uh, is due to our own proclivities and our own uh, uh 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 what's the word I'm looking for? Not just proclivities, but but our own propensities. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, see, see, our, our own proclivities and our own propensities causes our problems and our pain. Oh, let me, let me, let me, let me say that one more time. I want y'all to get this one. Our, 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 our proclivities and our propensities causes our problems and our pain. Well, well Pastor, now you tripped it. You know I don't know what propensity is. You you know I don't know what proclivities is. You got to help me because I ain't got the right perspective of what you're talking about. Well, let me break this thing down. See, see, I knew I shouldn't do it, but I did it anyway. <laughs> that's, that's my proclivities. I knew that I shouldn't did it, but I did it. Anyway, that that's 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 my proclivities, and then my propensities are I I I I knew what I should do, but I didn't do it. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever yo yo shouldn't have done, and you did it anyway. Stuff you know what Paul said when I when I look around, evil is always around me. That which I would not do, I do it. That which I would not do, I do anyway. That's proclivities and propensities. Yeah. Yeah. See, there are some people that's listening right now and you're saying, but man, I can't get out of my 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 propensity to do drugs. I I I, I can't get out of my proclivities to 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 to, to, to be an alcoholic. It, it's, it's a generational curse. It's, it's in my system. I, I, I can't help but make make problems worse by 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 DVs, domestic violence. I, 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 I know I shouldn't be, but 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 my, my pain and, and my problem and my proclivities and and, 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 and and my propensities causing me to get a DUI. I'm locked up. Yeah. You still gotta press through that pain because that pain that you feel is what's going to save you. Let me tell you right now, there was somebody who died on the cross. He took a whole lot of pain. And the pain that he took on the cross for your sins and my sins and the sins of the world, that pain, that, 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 that pain was so bad that, that he said to his father, Lord, forgive them. They know not what they do. Then all of a sudden he said, Shabbat, ah, Shabbat, Shabbat to me. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. God, God. Elio, Elio, Shabbat to me. God, God, why have you forsaken me? Can you imagine God being attached from God in a moment for your pain? Oh, yeah. For your pain, for the pain of the world. 
But those of us who heard Jesus say, come unto me, ye that are heavy laden with pain, you that are heavy laden with problems, you, you that are heavy laden with propensities and proclivities, come unto me and I'll give you rest. Take your yoke upon me and learn of me for my, 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 my burden. My yoke is easy. And my burdens are light. Oh, hallelujah. So we've talked about this, these, these problems. We, we've talked about pressing through the problems. We're talking about pressing through the pain. And, 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 and now we want to deal with pressing through the people. Listen, listen to the text. Listen to the text. Brethren, I, I do not count myself to apprehend it. It's verse 13. Uh, 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 but one thing I do, I forget those things which are behind me, and I reach forward to those things which are ahead. Somebody say, I'm pressing. I'm pressing. See, 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 see. I don't know about you, but uh, you know, back in the day, you know, I'm I'm an OG. You know, you know, I'm, I'm a Gramlin man. <laughs> Thank God I was born a Gramlin man. You know, G R A M D L I N G, a Gramlin man. But 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 before I was a Gramlin G. I was a uh, East St. Louis G. Oh, G, that's what they call me now. They, and I, I, I had the audacity to put on my license plates on my truck, uh, G Man. And folks been like, well, what, what, what? and I got my big ground in G. Maybe wondering, you know, you know, yeah. But see, see, I'm I'm not an OG now. Uh, in God's sight, I'm God's man. <laughs> And now watch me, watch me, watch me, watch me. But every time I turn around, somebody want to call me by them old names and them old ways, you know. Hey, bird. <laughs> What's going on, big bird? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, here he come. That's the overweight lover in the house. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Before Heavy D was, I, I am. You know that. Yeah, you gotta understand those. That's some old things, and they always gonna bring those things back to you. The question is, are you gonna let your past and the people in your past remind you of your past, and then you get stuck on stupid again in your past? See, see, see. What you need to understand is, you can't change your past. Your past is already set. It's done with. And I don't care what the pain was. I don't care what the problem was in the past. That was yesterday. And I want you to know, yesterday, <laughs> I cried my last tear about that stuff yesterday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, that's what Paul is saying. He said, brother, I do not count myself to have apprehended, but one thing I do, I, I forget those things that are behind me. I ain't crying over them no more. I ain't letting them hold me back no more. Yeah, 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 yeah. I said, Pastor, well, you, you're talking all that stuff. You, you don't know what my pain was. You don't know what my problem was. You don't know what my proclivity was. You don't know what has held me back. For all of these years. Well, I'm here to tell you, it don't matter what it is, because your setback is a setup, oh yes, for your comeback. That's why Paul says, I press. Because I'm going to reach for those things which are ahead of me. And that word reaching is, 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 is meaning he's going to strain and he's going to strive for that which is in front of him and not which is behind him. When, when, when a runner runs the race uh, and he's running the race, uh, if he takes his time and look over his shoulder, 
trying to see what a competition is, that competition will pass him right on by. But those of us who keep our eyes focused on the prize, we stretch and we strain, but not what's behind us, but what's ahead of us. And when we go across that finish line, we grab a hold of that ribbon and we break through with our chest. Because we ain't worrying about what's behind us. We're pressing towards what's ahead of us. Now, don't be looking at what people are talking about in your past. But sometimes people are so pressed together that you can't get to your present blessing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let me, let me, can I call up somebody? I think it was a woman that had an issue of blood. And that woman with the issue of blood, she said she came into the press. That means she came into all of the people who, who were pressing themselves uh, around Jesus. See, see, sometimes there are people who are pressed together so much that you can't even get uh, to your peace. There are people that are pressing around you that you can't get to, the, to your prize. There are people pressing. But that woman, she said, if I could just touch the hem of his garment, he would heal my issue of blood. He'll take away my pain. He'll take away my shame. He'll take away. I just need to press through the press. And she, and she pressed away. And she pressed away. And she just touched the hem of his garment. And, and he said, wait a minute. Somebody touch me. Yeah, when you keep pressing and go and touch Jesus, he'll know that you touched him. And his old disciple said, Master, how could we, how could we know somebody touch you in all of this press? He said, No, somebody touched me. Somebody touched me in the midst of this press. And when they touched me, all the virtue went out of. Oh, hallelujah. I, 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 I want to close here, but I got one more thing. <laughs> I got I want to go at one more thing. I want to go to pride, but I got one more thing. So woman, woman, woman with the issue of blood that's now been made whole. Hold on a minute. We're going to come back to you because because I got to talk about these four brothers. Who had a friend who was invalid. And they wanted to get this, this man, this friend of theirs, to Jesus. But because of the press, they couldn't go into the front door. They couldn't get into the windows. But because they wanted to press through the people, because they wanted to get their friend uh, healed. Uh, they wanted him to get to the master to, to, to give his body peace. It says that they went to the rooftop and they told the roof off. Tear the roof off. <laughs> tear the roof off. Tear the roof off of it. And they dropped that man down in the middle of the press. And Jesus said, y'all faith, not this man's faith, y'all faith has made this man whole. Are you pressing for anybody else? Are you pressing for somebody else? Are you pressing for somebody else? Are you the kind of people? That no matter what the press is, you're going to help somebody else. Are you going to be one of them? 
Well, I've got mine. <laughs> you get yours. Uh, I, I got my healing. I, I got my salvation. I, I got all I need. Uh, you get your own. Oh, yeah. I'm trying to tell you, you got to press for somebody else. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. So as I get ready to close, listen to what Paul says. He says, he says, I press towards the goal for the prize of the upward or high calling of God in Christ Jesus. You got one more thing you got to press towards. You didn't press through your problems. You didn't press through your pain. And you didn't press through the people. But now you got to press through your own pride. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on, woman with the issue of blood. Come back here for a minute. Let's talk about your pride issue. You didn't want nobody to know what you had just did because you knew that what you did was wrong because in, in, in your culture, you ain't supposed to touch nobody else while you're going through what you're going through. And you've been going through it for 12 long years. You done lost all your money. You done lost all your hope. You done lost all of your time. But yet, you were determined to press uh, just to touch the hem of his garment and you press towards the prize of the call of the high calling in Christ Jesus. But yet when you got pressed through there and you got here, Jesus wanted to call attention to your predicament. And your predicament was if you didn't say something now, you had too much pride. And you were just going to be walking away healed with your pride. Yeah, see, see, I, I just said something. See, see, some people, some people, they get a healing. But they got too much pride to tell somebody and give God some praise. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Watch me, watch me, watch me. I'm trying to close this thing out. Here it is. When Jesus said, somebody has touched me and took all the virtue out of me, the woman felt so much shame that her shame and her guilt overrode her pride. And because her shame and her guilt was stronger than her pride, she had to repent. And once she decided to repent, uh, when she decided to just come up and confess uh, what she had did, she got down on her knees and fell at Jesus' feet. Oh, you got to hear me. That we got to humble ourselves. If we humble ourselves under the mighty hand of the Lord, he said he will exalt us in due season. He told us to cast all our cares upon him because he cares for us. And that and that woman with this issue of blood, she sold everything. She pressed through her pride. And she gave her testimony. And Jesus said, daughter, daughter, you have been made whole. See, some folks don't press all the way. They, they, they stop short. They, they give up. Well, I'm here to tell you, don't give up. Keep on pressing. Don't, 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 don't get so caught up there in your own pride that you want to give up. Keep on pressing towards the goal to win the prize of the heart calling. Keep on pressing. Press, I tell you. Press. Only way, the only way to do great things is to love what you're doing. And if you hadn't found what you love to do, don't settle for nothing less. I keep on pressing. Don't worry about failure. Don't worry about how things change. Don't you miss anything. Keep on pressing. Press towards the prize of the high calling in Christ Jesus. And I know I got a witness coming from Paul. Paul told us, I fought the good fight. I ran my course. Now stored up for me is a crown up in heaven because I press through my problems. I press through my pain. I press through the people. And I humbled myself and pressed through the pride. Oh, come on, Jesus. Tell them about it. Yes, I, 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 I thought it not robbery to be equal with God. But, 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 but let, let me tell you, I, I didn't think it was evil uh, 
to be equal with God, but 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 I made myself of no reputation, and I took on the form of a bond servant, and I came into the likeness of man, and being found in the appearance of man, he humbled himself, and became obedient to the point of death even the death of the cross. Therefore, God also has highly exalted him, given him a name above every name, that at the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess. Those on earth and those under the earth. Oh, hallelujah. All oh, to the glory of God. Keep on pressing, my brothers and sisters. Keep on pressing through your pain. Keep on pressing through your problem. Jesus, he pressed uh, all the way from that, that trial uh, that Thursday night, all the way from his people, his partners, turning their back on them. And Paul, I mean, not Paul, but uh, oh, Peter told him, denied him. Oh, yes, three times. And then, oh, that boy, Judas kissed him with a kiss earlier, a kiss of death. And then they beat him all day. And they beat him all night long. Then they took him up Gargotha's mountain, up, up, up Villadale Rosa's road, as he was going up Gargotha's mountain and going up Villadale Rosa's road. He fell down and his cross fell out of him. But they called on that man, that black man named Timmy. I told him, come on over here. Uh, yeah, 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 Simon. Come on over here and help him carry his cross. Uh, is there anybody here pressing with Jesus? Will you help him bear his cross? Uh, do we have to bear his cross all along? They got him up there to that place they call the hill of skull, that, that God got this mountain. And they got him up there on the Calvary's hill. Uh, and they put the nails in his hands. Uh, they put the nails in his feet. Uh, then they dropped him into that ground, and he hung there on that cross for you and for me. People mocked him. People talked about him. But I want you to know, uh, he told one of those men, because he was between two, two people, uh, he told one of them, this day you're going to be with me in paradise. He pressed. Then he hung his head and he died. But he got up with all power in heaven and earth in his hands. And because Jesus pressed, we don't ever have to lose hope. We can press. Don't give up, my brothers and sisters. There is hope. I know what I'm saying. See, I was sinking deep in sin, far from the peaceful shore very deeply staying within, sinking to rise no more. But the master of the sea, he heard my despairing cry. And from those waters, he lifted me. Now safe am I. It was love that lifted me. When nothing else could help, it was love that lifted me. Oh, you got to hear me. My life was torn beyond repair. I felt so alone, seen no one cared, you, but Jesus, you came along and, and gave me a song to erase the pain and erase the strain. You you could have left me standing there with no one, no one to care, but, but you promised you will always be there on time. And then just when what you said, you did just what you said uh, against all odds, I made the choice to give my life, and now I rejoice. You answered my prayer, not a moment too soon. Your word I embrace, my sins you erase. You have left me standing there. You could have left me standing there when no one else and nobody else cared. But your promise to me, you said you'll be there on time, and you did. Uh, Oh, hallelujah. You did just what you said. That's why I can say, that's when you bless me. Oh, when I let go, God, that's when you bless me. And now, Lord, you brought me through, and now I'm brand new. Yes. That's when 
your blessing. If you want to be blessed today, your life is torn apart. Jesus says, I never leave you nor forsake you. He's an on time God. He's never too early and he's never too late. And so before we close this broadcast on Facebook and move over to our conference call line, we want to pray the prayer of salvation with you. It's based on Romans, the 10th chapter, verses 9 and 10. It says, uh, uh, whew, if you confess with your mouth and believe in your heart that Jesus died for your sins and that God raised him from the dead, yes, you shall be saved. Down at verse 13, it says, that whosoever calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved. So we're going to pray that prayer right now. This is the prayer of salvation. Please repeat it after me. Dear Heavenly Father, I confess with my mouth and I believe in my heart that Jesus died for my sins and that you raised them from the dead. Please, Lord, forgive me of all of my sins. I repent of all of my sins. I confess them all to you. Now, Lord, come into my heart. Be my Lord and Savior from this day forward. Thank you, Lord, for saving my soul. Thank you, Lord, for making me whole. Bless me now with a filling of your Holy Spirit to help me that he might rule and reign in my heart from this day forward. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen and amen. If you prayed that prayer and truly believe it in your heart, I believe you have pressed through and you are now blessed. We press through for our blessing. We want to thank God for you. If you want to join us on the conference call line where we are going to discuss this lesson and, and uh, do uh, intercessory prayer and prayer requests and Praise reports, just dial 619-639-4733. Again, 619-639-4733. Be blessed and always remember to be a blessing. Go now and love like Jesus loved. What's the password? The password is love.